record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man. Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Die Cash Review. Today we are continuing and ending the Hendrick Motorsports race win day with Chase Elliott's number 9 2022 Dover race win. Now the last time we got a Dover win from Elliott, it was back in 2018 and it got very rare very quickly and it got very expensive. So luckily I am fortunate enough to have both. I don't know where the box is unfortunately but I know it's here somewhere. Trust me I'm going to find it but... Who knows, could this Chase Elliott diecast turn out just to be the same one like 2018? Probably not, because the paint scheme isn't really what was the kicker for this one, but that was the Mountain Dew for 2018. Of course, Mountain Dew is not really uh, sponsoring Elliott anymore, or just in general. So, yeah, I mean, that car kind of got rare very fast. But either way, uh, this is the Napa paint scheme for Dover. Uh, it was very interesting because as soon as he won Dover, I was like, dude, this reminds me of 2018 when you won Dover for the first time. So, either way, pretty awesome paint scheme. We got a brand new Chase Elliott race win coming very soon. I'm not too sure when, but I ordered it a little bit ago. Hopefully, it should be here within the next couple of days. I want to say it was Nashville, but I'm not really too sure. So, either way, let's get this bad boy uh, kind of a closer look here. Got the Napa paint scheme for 2022. I don't think, have I reviewed the normal Napa paint scheme? I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe I don't know I don't remember I probably have but either way yeah this is the race version I think this is the first race version we got for a race win Am I, no I'm, I'm probably mistaken on that but either way we also got another Chase Elliott race version we got to get which is going to be uh, the Bristol Dirt Race we got to review that as well uh, we're not we haven't done it yet but we're going to so let's get this die cast out of the box and take a closer look at this 2022 number nine Chase Elliott Napa Auto Parts Dover win for the 2022 season. Here's the diecast out of the box, and man, this thing looks so much better out of the box. I don't know why, but it looks... I don't know, it just looks better. I don't know... I don't, I don't understand, but it had this weird, like, kick of it just looking better. So either way, I got a very nice paint scheme for the 2022 season. I don't know which Napa scheme is my favorite in terms of primary. I, I don't know. 2017 was really good. 2018 was okay. 2019 was all right. 2020 was, I don't know. I feel like 2020 may be my my top one. I'm, I'm not too sure why, but I feel like 2020 is uh, probably the one I'd have to go with. But either way, got some confetti. You can see where it shot from this side here. So this has like no confetti on it. I mean, there's a little bit, but over here is really kind of get where we get into the meat and potatoes of the confetti. So we'll take a look at that real quick. Got Napa right here on the hood. Got of course the vents. A lot of race wear. Not a lot, but a good amount. You can see got the confetti. Uh, more leaning on the right side of the car if you're looking in the driver's seat so yeah hit the left side of the car or the right side pretty good of course on the screen it's the left side but on if you're facing this way the way it should be it's on the right side so yeah it hit that side pretty good there's a little more confetti on the front which we'll take a look at here in a little bit got elliott's and the chevy logo there the chevy bow tie on the banner moving on to the roof here got the number nine which got some you know, pretty decent amount of confetti. Of course, is covering the roof rail there. Got Napa know-how right there on the back uh, of the number nine. Is it just me, or does anybody else miss the Napa know-how commercials? I mean, you're talking about the one with, uh, you know, Mikey, and uh, I guess Elliot was in there sometimes, but just the really older ones, man. Those were just the old NASCAR commercials in general were, like, the best thing ever, man. I really, really wish that we would do more of those, uh, but I don't know. Just the old ones were so... I don't know, so comedic. They were very funny. There was a lot of them that just didn't really make a lot of sense. But the last one I remember seeing on television that ran like crazy was the Dell Call. That was a real thing. I want a Dell Call so bad, but I just haven't really been able to get one. But, dude, that was probably one of my favorite just commercials in general because he pops out of the bushes, sc like scares all the ducks and stuff. I don't know. It's pretty cool. And then there they had that guy that uh, I don't remember his name, but he uh, replaced Junior, quote unquote, replaced Junior. Uh, and he was like, uh, oh my god, what did he say? Oh, the keys. He's like, do race cars not have, like, keys or something? Or something like that? I don't know. It was pretty funny, too. Again, I don't remember what they called the guy, but it was some, some heavier set dude, of course, not athletically fit for a race car at all, taking Junior's position. You know, it's pretty funny. So, uh, yeah. Either way, got the number nine there, and I have to know how, again, those, those commercials, man. Those were, those were the days. I miss those commercials. They're just, you know, good commercials in general. In general. If I could speak, that'd be great. 
Napa Auto Parts out there looks to be double printed. I've had this a lot on the deck lid or on the back end look double printed or just really thick. I'm not really too sure why, but I don't know. They've been getting a little, little interesting looking. If I can even focus, that'd be pretty sweet, but uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to. So we got the confetti on the deck lid there. On the back end, we got a little bit of confetti. You can see that there's some race wear, not a whole lot though. Got the tail lights, bow tie, Valvoline, got the number nine there once again. Auto Care and Camaro Z01 at the bottom. Over here is where we. Ooh, we got some damage too. Ooh, that looks good. I guess he kind of smacked the wall a little bit. So here's where all the confetti comes in. I guess this is really where all the race detail comes in. Got the confetti from that back quarter panel going all the way down to the front on the hood. And again, it even leads to the front. So let's go back here. Auto Parts got a little bit of a wall scrape right there on the wheel well. Looks pretty good. Or on the wheel fender, I guess you could say. A uh, universe right there. I don't even know what that says. Uh, something time service, tire service. Uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to read. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I got a little bit of confetti covering that there. Uh, let's see. A shock Hooters Lumar or Lumar. Uh, a shock is not even going to be with Elliot for 2023, which is kind of sad. But got some more confetti piled up on. The little, I don't know, stick out point there for the car. I don't really know what you call that. Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book. He got Chase Elliott, Acronis, Alexalta, Cincinnati, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, and Simons there. Got Napa nice and big right there. Of course, you got some race wear down the side. Got the number nine. Got some more confetti, even more confetti, and more confetti. So, you know, that's how that works. Got the NASCAR Salutes, NASCAR Cup Series. Got the Goodyear, which looks to be a little off. And I mean, eh, I guess that's okay. It's better than what we've seen before. Got some pretty decent buildup right here on this quarter panel. Well, not quarter panel, but on this uh, front panel here uh, on the very side of the right side of the bumper is what I meant to say. Uh, pretty good buildup there. Again, got some confetti sticking to the, whatchamacallit there, the grill. I don't know if it like got hot or something. They just kind of, oh God, they just kind of stuck to it. Either way, but you got some more of the race wear around on this side. Got the number nine. Got some more race wear just down the side once again. More confetti, you know, as you can expect. Not a whole lot, but there's some. Nap Auto Parts got a little bit of race wear around the wheel well. I'm assuming that's from the burnout, if I'm not mistaken. Got Auto Parts up there, and some more confetti to kind of wrap up the back end of this car. So, again, I got a, another Elliott race one coming soon. There is one that has not been released yet. I don't know if it's been canceled, but it was absolutely caked. And I mean caked, covered. Couldn't see a single letter, number anything on the car i don't know where it was from but dude it was completely covered in green confetti if anybody remembers that race win you'll know what i'm talking about again i don't remember off the top of my head but dude it was covered that 124 is going to be an incredible seller again i wish i could figure out what it was i'll probably put it over on the screen here but man it was covered just absolutely caked and I can't wait for the 164. Normally, I'm not really excited for any type of race wins or race diversion diecast if they're not Bowman or Junior. So, uh, yeah, this one was caked pretty good in confetti. I don't know anything about the damage. I don't know if there's any damage. I don't know if there's no damage. I don't know if there's a little bit, a lot of it. Not too sure, but I know there's a lot of confetti. And that already gets me pretty hyped. So, I do believe that will be all for this diecast review. However, we have a lot more on the way, so don't you worry. I got a couple... Authentics I got to review, a couple customs I got to review, I got my 124s out of the way, and again, we got more diecasts on the way also. It's only like three, four cars, so not going to be a big diecast haul, but we're still going to add to the pile of diecasts that I have to review. Nonetheless, though, that will be all for this diecast review, so thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you all enjoyed, but I will see you in the next diecast review.